he gave the artist carte blanche. He told them what he wanted to see, he, what he wanted to cover, and he left it to the artist. And if the artist could take the, the, the bat in his hand and, and swing for it, it was fun. And to me, I think he saved comic books. I'm Mike Avila with Sci-Fi Wire, and I don't like to use the term legend too often because sometimes it can be overused. But in this case, it's perfectly deserved. I'm here with the legendary comic book artist, John Romita Sr., Jazzy John Romita, if you don't mind me calling you the jazzy one. No. no. <laughs> and your Spider-Man is very different from, from Ditko's. How would you describe the difference between what Steve did and what, what you did with Peter Parker and with Spider-Man and everyone else? Well, some of it was technique because he, I was a brush man. Ditko was a pen man. And I, was, I felt obliged to do Spider-Man and nine panels like Ditko because that's what the fans are used to. And I tried for the first year. And I think maybe in the beginning of the second year, I started to cheat and use a brush a little bit more. And then slowly but surely, Stan said, you know what, don't try anymore. Do it the way you want to do it. For an entire generation of fans, your Spider-Man, your Peter Parker, are the definitive versions of the characters. You, you must feel very proud to have made such an impact on the character and the people that, that love the character that way. Oh, of course. Uh, I mean, I had no intention of trying to dominate anything. I always felt like I'm a, I'm a follower. People used to say he's a creator. I said, oh, no create. I didn't create Spider-Man. I didn't create any of this. Ditko, Stan, they created Spider-Man. What I'm doing is I'm illustrating it. I'm an illustrator and I'm a storyteller, but I didn't create anything. I always tell them, never call me a creator. We're about to see the third different actor portray Spider-Man on, on camera. Uh, I gotta see, I gotta Tom see Holland. that. When do you think you'll see Spider-Man Homecoming? You think you'll, you'll catch it when it comes on DVD? I think I will be opening, I think I'm gonna make a note to myself to please open the damn television set once in a while. <laughs>